It looks like one of the old bridges in the area is going to be torn down, uh, the Cobbin Bridge. So I'll just let you take a little while and read the plaque. That'll kind of tell you what the history of the bridge is. Uh, it was dismantled one time and moved. You can still drive across the bridge. Uh, it's one way, single lane, five miles an hour with an eight foot height limit. There were a few people uh, that had stopped to look at this plaque and uh, there was actually quite a few people driving across the bridge. Uh, you gotta remember it's one way so if somebody's coming across you have to wait. But uh, if you wanna get the experience of driving across this old bridge before they tear it down, uh, you better get out here and try it out. It's a pretty different feeling driving across. And so now we'll take a look going up in the air. Um, we're going to be flying anywhere from probably um, 25 feet to about 150 feet. And we have July 27th, 2017. To start out with, uh, I notice there's all kinds of power lines running around there. So I'm going to stay kind of higher up in the air on this side of the bridge. And this is a one-lane one bridge with a wood top. I saw a couple people with uh, bicycles go across. If someone happens to be coming from the other direction, you have to decide who's going first. And now that I'm on the other side without the wires, I can come down in height a little bit. Uh, the height limit for a vehicle is uh, eight feet now. They don't want any bigger trucks going across. And you're limited to five miles an hour, although I don't think I'd want to go any faster. And now we have a ton of wires on the other side here. Well, maybe not a ton, but we have some wires on the other side. So I go up just a little bit, make sure I'm high enough to avoid them. That's one thing about flying, it seems like wherever you go there's always power lines somewhere. So you have to be mindful of that.
they voted to tear the bridge down, uh, and if they uh, rebuild another bridge, I don't know if it's going to be in the same spot or where the location is going to be. And now we'll just start on the other side here and head back the other way. Yeah, the river looks pretty calm today. And the corn in the field looks excellent. I know if I went and stood there, it'd be over my head. So I'd say it's got to be over six feet. We've had a really good year for rain. Yeah, and now we'll start coming down. You can see I've got uh, wires to the right of me and wires in front of me. And it wouldn't hurt the wires any if I uh, would just bump into one of them, but it sure wouldn't be good for me. So I think I'll stay a safe distance. Take my time. And there we have someone going across. We can see one lane bridge, speed limit five miles an hour and uh, eight foot maximum. Uh, we have another truck going across now. And although it looks like I'm in the road, I'm actually not. Uh, it's just the way the camera is positioned. And now we'll get high enough to get over the wires. So you can see there's quite a few cars that actually are going across this old bridge. But if you can imagine the thing's been sitting there for a hundred years, well it was moved once but the bridge itself is a hundred years old. That's a long time.
I believe that vehicle that was over in the other side there, uh, that is just parked. I think they're fishing. And now it's time to land the drone and we got the GoPro 4 suction cup to the hood of the car. We'll go do a drive across. That'll kind of give you the driving on the bridge experience maybe. And it looks like we got a little trouble here, so I'll just back up and uh, let the guy go across. Oh, you can't dive from the bridge. I forgot to mention that, so if you're thinking about diving, forget it. It's against the rules. So I've seen cars, I've seen um, bicycles, there's a couple bicycles went across. I suppose if you're afraid to drive and you don't have a bicycle, you know, if you got a pogo stick, you could probably hop across. If you're going to do that, let me know though, because I want to get some video of that. This reminds me of going across the Royal Gorge with the wood top, except for the boards are running the other way. And this is a little uh, not quite up as not quite up as high as the Royal Gorge. But if you can't afford to go out there, you know this might have to do. Looked like that guy was missing his rear fender on his vehicle. Okay, so now we'll turn around here. And we will go back the other way. I'm not sure exactly when they're going to tear this down. I think they just took the vote a couple days ago to tear it down. And I'm sure they got to get funding. I gotta say it kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies uh, driving across.
But they evidently must have known how to build them back then because it lasted a hundred years. And now we're coming to the end of the trip here. So if you want to drive across the Cobbin Bridge, you better put that on your calendar. And you might as well stop in Jim Falls at the AMPI Cheese Store and get some of that good Wisconsin cheese.